Approximately 200,000 Americans with blocked coronary arteries are going to undergo a procedure called angioplasty this year. Let's take a look at some video of this procedure. During angioplasty, a catheter or tube is inserted into the blocked artery. A small balloon is then inflated, disrupting or compressing the plaque buildup. This allows for an unobstructed blood flow through the artery. While angioplasty is usually life-saving, another 200,000 candidates are turned down each year because they're too high risk. However, hope is on the horizon and here to tell about a, a new computerized pump system that's being hailed as a major advance in cardiology is Dr. Tom Rockwell. Hello, doctor. How are you? How are you? Nice having you with us again here at home. Good to be here. I've got a look at the name of this called coronary sinus retroperfusion. Very good. Wow. What, uh, what is that? This is a lifeboat for a sick heart. What this does basically is allow us to keep the heart muscle alive if the blood supply has been cut off for hours longer than we would be able to under normal, uh, under normal situations. Th that's this, this whole situation now. So this, l let's say you go into a, uh, some sort of surgery and there's a problem. Mm -hmm. What does this do? If well, ordinarily, if you block the blood supply to the heart, the heart dies in about one hour. Yeah. This allows us to give a backdoor blood supply to the heart that will keep it alive for hours longer, maybe even up to 20 hours. And that gives us time to do angioplasty and open heart surgery and many of these other procedures that take longer than an hour to get started. It's just amazing. The advances that are being made for the heart. Why don't we show the procedure? Um, okay. We've got a little example here. That... What this does is allow us to sneak arterial blood backwards up through the veins to the site of an obstruction. And I'll show you how it works. We'll turn the machine on here. A computer recognizes when the heart is beating and in the brief periods of time between the beats, it shoots about a teaspoonful of oxygen carrying blood backwards up through the veins into the damaged area of the heart. Now, Tom, tell me, which, which is the good blood and which is the bl bad blood here? Well, for this purpose, the red blood is the good blood. It has oxygen. There's a little balloon that expands here to block the vein so it doesn't come backwards. And in between the heart's beats, it shoots this red blood backward up to where the heart has had a damaged area. And this, this can be used for hours if the, if the procedure, uh, you're talking about maybe a bypass or something of that sort. That could... What we can do now is buy 20 or 30 hours of life for people who otherwise would be dead in an hour. Isn't this something? Well, I'll tell you, I, I want to introduce everyone to a man whose life was really saved by this procedure. Come on, run over here with me and say hello to Bert. Roberts. Hi. How are you? How are you? Glad to know you, Rob. Nice. Glad to have you here. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. And it's all to that machine. Well, let me let me set this up a little bit because you were going to go in for uh, for surgery for angioplasty, and uh, lo and behold, they they took a look at your records and said there might be a problem. The night before you were supposed to go in, they asked you to sign an extra release that would allow them to use this machine if there were a problem. Did that frighten you at all? If, uh, I was scared, but the doctor explained to me it could save my life. Uh, and I asked Dr. Reed Wilson, if it was you, would you have it done? He said, if it was my father, yes. So and Reed Wilson is only 33 years old, so that's why I think he referred to me as uh, if it was his father. And he recommended it very highly, and I had all the confidence in him, and then we went through with it. And my wife and I had to sign the release. Now, the next day you had triple bypass? Yes. And if this machine had not been available... They said I wouldn't be here today. Gee. I, I would have been gone. How long ago was that? A year ago, August 25th. How do you feel now? Great. I walk four miles a day. I'm working full time. And uh, just great to be here. Did you take any weight off? 38 pounds. Whoa, wow. It's amazing what goes on. Huh? Oh, yeah. They made a lot of advances. What was the first thing you said when you woke up? Great to be here. Yeah. <laughs> Can we say hi to Diane? Sure. This is Bert's wife, Diane, and first of all, happy birthday. Today's your birthday. As we speak, my There we go. <laughs> and Bert and Diane are going to celebrate their 35th wedding anniversary this yep. year in good health. Yep. Isn't that wonderful? Yep. The very, very best of both okay. of you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much. All right. Take care. Bye. All right. Now, Tom, this looks like a great machine. We think it'll be about 12 to 18 months before it'll be out in most community hospitals. And now, is it only going to be used in the situation that you talked about, do you think? Well, one of the exciting possibilities is that we may be able to use the same machine to treat strokes 
to prevent the brain from dying when the blood supply to the brain is obstructed. So this machine may actually help us to both save a lot of heart attack patients and a lot of stroke patients. Isn't that well. something? First, first sign of a stroke, you could get connected right to this thing and then go in it's, and be able to find the clock? It's or a clock. fantastic breakthrough. This is terrific. All right, Dr. Rockwell, thank you so much for being with us this morning on home. Great advance. Isn't it exciting?